In this video, I'm going to show you how to install our Horsepower Chrome extension and also how to update it whenever we release a new version. So the first thing you want to do is add a new folder to your desktop and I'm going to do that right now and I'm going to rename the folder as Horsepower. I'm using a Mac at the moment, but the process is going to be pretty similar whether you're using Mac or Windows. So once you've got your new folder, you can come to the tools menu on bonus bank and select horsepower. And when that page loads up, you'll see the download now button. So if you click on that, we're going to get the, the horsepower zip file downloaded. And if we double click on the zip file, it's going to unzip that and give us a new folder here, which includes all the necessary files we need for horsepower. And I can open that up. I'm also going to open up my new horsepower folder and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of the files from my unzipped version and I'm going to paste them into my new horsepower folder. Now that I've got those files I'm going to come to this Chrome extensions page and the first time you come to this page you're going to see developer mode up in the top right is turned off. We want to turn that on and then click on load unpacked and it's going to ask which file you want to load. Um, I'm going to take that horsepower one from the desktop and I'm going to select it. And there we go. Horsepower has now been installed, uh, but at the moment it doesn't show up in our toolbar. So the last thing I want to do is click on this jigsaw icon and then pin horsepower to the toolbar. And now you can see it up here. And if I click on the icon, there we go, it's giving me the login screen for horsepower. I'll quickly log in. And I'm good to go. So that's it, all installed, ready to use. You can see that we're on V3.0.3 here. And yeah, we're good to go with this. But every so often we're going to release new versions of horsepower and you're going to have to update it. Now, when we release a new version, we always post it in the announcements channel on Discord and you can see that 3.0.3 was posted there not too long ago. And whenever we post up a new version, this is where it's going to appear and you just click on the link and it's going to download the new zip file for you. Uh, now, we haven't released anything since 3.0.3 but I do have a copy of a new version, uh, which is going to be released very shortly. And I can just go to my, my downloads and you can see I've already got 3.1.0 there and I've already unzipped it. So if I want to update uh, my existing version to the new 3.1.0 version, all I'm going to do, I'm going to take all of these files in here and I'm going to get rid of them. Then I'm going to open up this one and I'm just going to copy them into my new folder or in, into my main horsepower folder. There we go. And I can come back to the extension. So I've got 3.0.3, .3, but if I reload this, it's going to update. You can see that there. Uh, and then again, I can open this up and we're on to 3.1.0. So we've got all the, the new version there. And the great thing about using this approach is that if you've changed any settings, anything in here, they'll be updated automatically when you switch to the new version. So you don't have to go back and, and reset your settings. And that's it, it's pretty straightforward. Um, just each time the new version comes out, you just update your main horsepower folder with the files and reload on the extensions page and you should be good to go.